Hi, it's Andy again, and I got another uh, Android tutorial for you. This one's going to be how to give you that drawer layout with the bolded uh, text, just like the Google Play Music. Uh, so here's what it looks like. So when you open up the drawer, um, you get the bold text on the items that you select. So I'm going to select playlists, and you open up the drawer again. Uh, let's see. The playlist is now selected, and you have the the title, the action bar titles actually also changes name. So it's real easy to do. Um, you're going to need two, uh, two layouts. I also have a fragment that displays this, but you don't really need it. Um, so you have your activity and uh, your nav drawer adapter. And I'm going to go through the layouts real quick. Uh, that's my Gradle file. Um, the strings, I just copied out uh, the five items that are on the Play Store. I put them there and then um, these are for the drawer uh, I just copied whatever Google had and put them in there um, but let's go talk about the layout it's a normal drawer layout so you have a, right here the frame layout which I'm replacing with the fragment which you don't need to do in this circumstance but you probably want to because you're probably going to want to have fragments that launch with each one of these items when you select them so um, I just to keep it that way, I I, I put that in there. Um, next, the the second view is actually the linear layout, which is the actual drawer. So right now I have a list that consumes, con, that consists of the five items, and then I have uh, three linear layouts that have a icon and text view. So that's what these look like. Um, each individual layout linear layout is one of these items. Um, they don't really do anything, they just, you know, pop, pull up a toast. So let's go into the drawer adapter since uh, that's where all this is uh, actually happening. We're going to extend a uh, array adapter and uh, override the get view and uh, also include this other method, selected item. Uh, you can name it whatever you want, it doesn't matter. Um, what this is going to do is um, we need this selected item to determine whether we've selected the item or not. Uh, if we selected it, we're going to use um, the first typeface here, which is going to use the Roboto uh, bold. And if we haven't selected, so pretty much everything else on here is going to be the, the second uh, typeface, which is going to be the Roboto light. Um, so we need to we're going to use this once we select an item on the on click listener in the main activity uh, we're going to specify which position item we have selected and then we're going to notify the data set change what this does is this reflect refreshes the list to actually select the, to show the changes um, so when you select item so here I selected playlist uh, notify data set change actually gets called and bolds the item and actually calls the, uh, the the get view all over again so uh, let's go into the activity uh, all this stuff is pretty much straightforward um, drawer layout stuff so if you've seen my uh, drawer layout video there's nothing really changed here um, we need to actually put the uh, drawer adapter here because we're going to use it in uh, the on click listener as well so uh, uh, initialize your the adapter outside of the on create view um, then we're gonna actually call it here um, you know it's a it's a regular array adapter so you have context um, your layout and your list uh, the list is just the list array from the strings as I showed you earlier and um, like I said, if you haven't seen the drawer layout videos from before, watch that first. That'll, I'll go into explaining all the the action bar drawer toggle and all that stuff. Okay, and the, these are the, the three linear layouts on the bottom that they just display the toasts, so they don't really do anything. So we need to have our on-click listener. So we're going to extend uh, list views on item click listener. And then um, on our item click, we're going to call select item. 
and the adapter selected item. So uh, the position that we're selecting. So in this case, if I select my library, that's actually position one because this now is position zero. Um, and then uh, what it does is uh, select item. The only thing I did here was um, I create a string and then I um, include that string in the toast. Uh, we want to notify the drawer that it's selected. I'm not sure if this is actually really necessary, uh, but if you're using um, a drawer layout where you want to have the item selected, uh, where you put single choice mode and um, you want a highlighted background, you would actually put the set, uh, set item checked. So um, it's probably not necessary in this case since we're changing the adapter. Um, but I included it because it doesn't actually make any difference. And then we're also going to set the title. So that's why when we um, select my library, it changes the action bar title to my library which we have to override something later on which I'll show you and then uh, we want to close the drawer so that's what we do here so when I select item closes the drawer so um, you have to override to get the title you have to call this method right here you override set title and then um, we're actually saying um, we want to make the the title that we're passing into the set title we're gonna actually set the action bar to that that text or char sequence whatever alright um, to open up and, and close the drawer with the, the home button uh, you call this method right here mdrawer toggle dot on options item selected return true uh, the drawer toggle handles all that for you and the rest of it is nothing different from previous videos so the real key is actually to call uh, this method, the selected item, uh, which you do that right here. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, oh, let me go over the assets real quick. To include assets in um, Android Studio, uh, you click on the main uh, folder and then add a directory and call it assets. And then I um, I added a package called fonts and then I, you know, pasted all the Roboto fonts in there. So if you want to use a custom font, you do that. And then um, to actually set it, you would actually in your um, array adapter, yeah, your array adapter, the typeface, you get context, get assets, and then uh, the actual path. You don't actually have to have this package for fonts. You can move them all just to the root of the assets folder. You just take out the fonts part of it. All right. Hope you liked this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.